through the line where one time he got two times for like for like the final strike. Where like he got shit face strong, broke one of the old mirrors and stabbed his dab here side up. Mm. And he brought a hooker here. Oof. Oof. Oh yeah. Bringing randoms into your house is a no. <laughs> I've done that with people I thought were friends from school, and they're, and they're random. Like, they're not people I would naturally hang out with, and somehow it just happened to other people. And, yeah, well, I learned not to fucking trust people like, I don't know, Suli, Kevin Davis, and Jimmy, Mike Malone, half the kids we all hung out with that aren't real friends of ours. I should know, I should have known, but, you know, still, like, yeah, I should have known with this girl, though. She did it once, I, she would have done I did not expect her to use her kids and all this other crap as leverage, though. That was insane. She's fallen off. I've never seen somebody fall so low. Even Laura was is not like that. Well, she can. I'm sure she would easily sit there and use anything against you to make money off of you, but she wouldn't sit there and say shit like, what Mega was saying to me, or use her kids as a way to blackmail me, sort of? Not really, but just kind of leverage. Damn it, I hit the sex button. That's what Laura was doing, though. She was... I didn't notice it at the time, but she was using me for... just... anything. Mm. Attention, whatever sex... fucking... stole money straight from my pocket one time when I showered and was wearing... sweatpants of hers or something. And I go upstairs and there's a $20 bill that I knew I had. Mo the moment I had that up there, I was like, fuck, Laura's gonna take that. I knew it. It's funny how I barely was date. I only dated her for four months, and I already knew my ex was going to steal from me. I, like, she didn't even have to put me through any of the pain, because I probably was still in love with her at this time, so I knew at that point that she was fucking me over. But she was my first, and I was very, very different back then. In terms of, like, just wanting to be with somebody now it's like uh, i'm a bit more i'm a bit more knowledgeable on relationships let's say that back then yeah. she was my first not my first relationship because i've dated but she was my first sex like real love i've dated before her but it was only two weeks um but yeah no laura was my first everything and it's it was not a great girlfriend i got the satisfaction of dumping i didn't get for that Oh. Ah, fuck, I blocked his throat clamp, but I can't watch. Yep. 
sometimes older games are better. Makes sense. Second one is definitely really good, in my opinion. It's the better one, even though I haven't played enough of three. I've only played like the first couple hours. Yeah. Understandable. Why are you? He just says the stupidest. He sounds like me. Just says the stupidest things, except he insults people for no reason. It's kind of like what I do. Cool, like, once I got this office, I was able to hear these little uh, echo recorders and pretty much give you like the origin on how like, Timothy became as a dragon clone. I'm kind of happy that for the most part, Timothy is so good. Guy's not a villain because like. Throughout the story of Borderlands, we pretty much kill almost all of the wall hunters and defeat people. Hmm. Cause like, I'm playing, right now I'm playing the, the sheriff character. Oh, I can't remember her name. But he pretty much Yes. Ah, okay. So that leads into how Wilhelm became that. Okay. Yeah, because you know Wilhelm's always the best when it comes to more robot than anything. He got his new dream in Portland, too. And then fucking, um. Amira, the DLC go hunter that we got. She, uh, we know her in Portland, too. She fully betrays half her body.
Damn. Oops. <laughs> Trying to block a throat clamp. God dang it, man. Keeps hitting me with the wrong attacks. the killer ice shrooms.
that wolf just got staggered from damage, so I guess I gotta hit him a bunch more. Consistently, hopefully that does it. Because I would love to be able to just fuck that fucker off. Does he smell like soup? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a young adult.
Finally! I got one! I beat one of the five rounds. That's Cloud Solo. Cloud Solo. Oh, that's one. I got I got Cloud's Art of Sword Play. Good. Art of Art of Sword Play 15. God, okay. Yeah, that was easy. Once you learn a lot of that, it starts to really get easy. That wasn't bad. It's the fucking Helion's Entonement one that I'm worried about. It's the 3v1 fight that I've been doing. Or 3v fight that I've been doing. And the last one that I got to was the freaking moss-grown adamantois and floating death. Fucking murderous, man. Bad combination. But that, I couldn't even... I didn't even know how to damage the adamantois right away. I gotta figure out how to do that. But still, that thing was not taking damage. <laughs> but that... The Colossus, I just destroyed the fucking Ironclad. He wasn't bad. I know I fought him before, too. Is Tifa, I think? I think... I'm not sure if it's in Chadley's missions or if it's in the Corel underground ones or not. But there was one that I fought him as Tifa, I think. Or someone else, I don't know. I'm hope... I'm not, I'm, I don't know if the last boss in all of these for the legendary bouts, which are... It's five rounds with a single character. I don't know if they all end in the same enemy. No, I don't think so. Unless the, unless the question marks aren't always accurate. They might be. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, they all have three. Okay, never mind. Because I guess it could potentially go up to one to three fight uh, monsters you can battle. I thought they just showed question marks for how many monsters are in it. No. Nope. I made it pretty far on Tifa's. I made it to Kid G. Kid G's that fucking goblin that you saw me dealing with that 
way earlier on when you do the when you deal with the the proto relic stuff in Corel, you'll deal with the the mini game where you gotta. It's basically you remember in the first one where you had to do the boxes, get enough points. Yeah. The one in Corel where you deal with the goblin kid that you saw me talking to. The Cactuar mini game is basically just that, but with Cactuars. And you you and you use Yuffie, you use Yuffie and Aerith for there's a couple of them that you do, and Yuffie and Aerith are the characters you use. And yeah, it's the same thing. Like Cactuars, some of them will be resistant to certain uh, certain damage types, so you'll have to use either you'll have you'll be using physical damage and magic to be hitting them, and you gotta figure and you gotta find out which ones are weak to what to maximize your damage output and kill them faster. Then there's like then there's rainbow ones that give you more time. Stuff like that. It's cool. I like that minigame. It was fun. But as Tifa, he's one of the bosses. You fight. I got to him and lost. Horrendously. Uh, I don't I don't know. Um, Barrett's might not be too bad, but I gotta set everybody up now. You made short work of that simulation. Obtaining all that intel has only stoked my I have not I made short work of that shit. That shit murdered me left and damn right. <clears throat> and yet Cloud is 20 away from max weapon level. Everyone's pretty much one one away or two away from maxing out their weapon levels. Oh. Mother of so good testicles. Alright, I gotta figure out what... I'm having some difficulty. There may be no more intel. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they did them. Ooh, my party level's at max. It wasn't at max last time I saw that. I don't remember when, but also... All I need now is my weapon level to be maxed. And that'll give me one last buff or upgrade because all the weapons, like, update. And I want that power-up. Those power-ups, man. The, the additional boosts you get. I want them bad. That's how long, considering how long I've been on fucking weapon level 8 for. Because of hard mode, you literally have to play hard mode to get the rest of them. And <laughs> they're hidden behind story, optional quests, and fucking, of course, Chadley's shit. Just finally happy to fuck. I still need those last fucking enemies. A few enemies, too. I need, what, three bosses? Sephiroth at the Forgotten Capital, Bahamut, Bahamut, Arisen Whisper, and the last at boss, whatever that is. They just decided to throw that into my enemy intel list, and I don't even know if it's Sephiroth. I don't know, unless Sephiroth on hard mode just gains a new form. And that's the thing, they're the boss bosses. So let's see, yeah, they're, they're boss bosses. Not... Oh, wait. Yeah. They're all... They're not summons. Okay. So, from Bahamut Arisen down is all just end bosses. They're not summons. So, yeah, I need Bahamut Arisen Whisper, and then... Who the hell would be after Sephiroth? It's another form of Sephiroth, obviously. And if not, then what super boss exists? Because I know, I think in I think in the first game, Angel was fighting a, a VR fight that was only gotten via hard. And I've never done it. I wonder if this game is similar. Hmm. Maybe because I, I know from the, uh, what is it, the new part DLC in the first game, mm -hmm. all, all those like pretty boys you see in the cutscene towards the end when you're in the... Uh... What, what is it, uh, Shinra's building? Mm hmm I think, like, one of them is supposed to be, like, the hidden boss for you to face in VR. Oh, shit. I'm saying I think. Oh, shit. People mentioned that they fought him, but I never fought him. Yeah. I don't remember. And apparently a lot of those characters are from... Parts of fucking what is it vincent's backstory because a lot of people keep mentioning dirge of cerberus 
and bits of Crisis Core. Because I guess there's more information that I don't know about, because apparently there's like a deep ground or deep underground full of Shinra peoples and experiments that even Shinra himself doesn't know about. And this is young Rufus Shinra, not Shinra old man Shinra. And they're mentioning the guy in the bandages that Yuffie dealt with that murdered her potential lover or whatever he was. Uh, the guy. And then he's part of that. And apparently it explains more detail on Vincent and everything. I don't know anything on that because I've not played Dirge of Cyberus long enough. Nor do I remember playing, I don't know, 20-something years ago? 12 years ago? or twenty? Like It's around 12, 20 years, something like that. It's been a while. Definitely wasn't 20 years ago, because I'd be fucking 14. There's no way in hell I played Dirge of Cerberus at the age of 14. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe, because remember, it wasn't on PS2. Yeah, but I don't think I... Yeah, but keep in mind, I also didn't play it right away. I don't think... I was a teenager, yes, but I don't think I was 14. What I'm trying to say is I don't. I didn't play it right away. There's no way in hell I played Final Fantasy at that age when I barely even played any of them at that point. Because oh, I really was starting to dabble into 10 and 10 too. I mean, even though I played those games since I since they came out, whatnot, and I was playing 10 too heavily since that came out. But like, I don't know. By the time I was a teenager, I was like big into Pokemon and really big into Pokemon. I was playing a lot of that. And, Stuff like that, so I didn't really dabble in any of the Final Fantasies. Dirge of Cerberus I only got just because I knew of Seven's existence and how popular it is. To be fair, at that time, I knew nothing of Seven, and why? Do you still have that copy? Dirge of Cerberus. I had no idea. Let me look. I found a lot of old games, but there's a lot of games I don't. So many games, I don't even know where the heck they are. No, but I see Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> games are old. Oh. Yeah. What is fucking name? I love the PSP, not PS2. Yeah, the only PS2 game I could see right now was King Kingdom Hearts. I don't know if my mom got a cut out of this game. I don't think so. Uh, I see... Dragon Ball Z, Infinite World, Star Wars, Grand Theft Auto... A lot of these games I bought off of PS4. Seven Hill Four, Inuyasha, Silent Hill Two. We got two Inuyasha games and Silent Hills. I don't see that. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have it up here. And if I do, I don't. And if I don't know if I own it or not. Yeah, because I don't got a lot of PS2 games up here. I don't know where the rest of them all are. Honestly, I don't even know where a good portion of my old games are. A lot of my games are probably in my basement that I don't know. But no, I don't see it. I see Kingdom Hearts, I see a couple of Inuyasha games. That's about it. I don't really have many PS2 games up here. Yeah. Aside from what I bought off a kid at work, who gave me a bunch of Xbox games and PS2 games. I don't even know. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, can I? Oh, she needs to swap gear. Material equipment. So, Cetrin Bracer. Yes, full throttle wrist guards. Ooh, that drops your health considerably, but that's okay. HP up, healing, fire, magic, focus, fire, magic, that's interesting.
Lightning Revival. Healing HP at Fire Ice. Uh, strength up. Magic up. Um. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to be... I can't even make use of both. Why do I have both on the bottom row? Uh, what do I want for elemental? Uh, I'll do fire first, I guess. Fire for my elemental damage. Lightning in, or fire and ice. Lightning and wind for my resistance or immunities. Even though, hold on, magic. Oh, that's magic focus. Not elemental. Uh, elemental. Elemental. Magic focus. Magic focus. Revive. Why would I need impotency increase on revival? Um. Yeah. Magic focus increases potency and duration of my strength buff. Yes, that'd be great. But I don't know if I want that. <laughs> How are you doing, Welder? Hope you're well. Well. Re-raise... Uh, lightning, wind, fucking empowerment, magic, focus, empowerment, elemental, and uh, HP up, healing, elemental, and fire, and ice, magic up, strength up, re raise, revival, magic, focus. What am I reviving? Why do I have that on? Re raise is fine. You know what? Give some mind when you say, What am I reviving? My mind just went like nuts. I mean, uh, Hifa's raising more than someone's nuts, I'll tell you that. Ah, she's turning men into boys, yes. Or the other way around. Other way! You know what? Pete, clip that. That You know what? Some things I say accidentally that actually just sound better. That's a... They can clip that entire thing and just have me say, turn men into boys. That sounds more like fucking Sophie from 8. She's the one... Who would turn a man into a boy? <laughs> Considering. Quistus's Final Fantasy VIII waifu. I do know, like, oh, that's kind of reminds me of 13. I really love the, uh, that girl that hanging out a lot with, uh, with the black guy. The one that had, like, the Australian accent. Oh, Fang! The dark skinned, tan skinned girl. Not, not, right? Not the dark skin, the, uh, the one with the orangey hair. Oh, Vanille! I completely forgot her that's right she does hang with zaz Saz. well when you when you mentioned the when you mentioned when you mentioned the 13 i assumed you were talking about fangs i found her i found her the most attractive yeah vanille is cute too though fang is hot but like fang is like i've heard of these shirts like by the time like, I think yeah it's I'm late isn't it yeah, it's late isn't it but no vanille is a vanille is a adorable i love her I haven't gotten much time to get to know her, but I liked what I've seen of her. I don't know. I can't really... A lot of 13's cast, though, I just can't get into. But I like Vanille. I like Snow. I know a lot of people hate Snow and Lightning and... Heaven forbid yeah, hope. Like, my ex, Danielle, she had 13 on the uh, 360. And she despised Snow. I don't understand why she didn't like him. I, have I hate the one character. I hate hope. With a passion. Yeah, it's Hope. Yeah, Hope. Oh, uh, if I could, I will kill him from the get -go. Just get over with. I hate his whole hatred towards Snow, his whole crybabyish attitude that later is going to just change because we realize Snow is not the one that did anything. He tried to save his mom, yada yada. He also loved fucking Lightning's sister. Like, I'm just, I, I don't know. The whole game is all about Snow getting bitched at and hated on, and I don't like Lightning. I can't. Like, she's not a bad character. I just think in that game, she just... Maybe she grows in later games, but in that first instance that I had with her, the first, like, I don't know, eight hours, she just was not a great character. Not horrible, though. But she definitely is just, I don't know. Having a protagonist that's just constantly meh all the time. It's like Squall. Except Squall's just emo and says whatever to everything. Cloud at least has some character in the original. In the original. He's boring as fuck. 
but fucking lightning to me all i see from her is just meh 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 i hate you meh. that and hope but hopes is more whiny oh my god my mother i hate you meh. <laughs> Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Also, like, the one thing I hate about Hope is just how whiny Yes! Whiny! Kind of like, like, Snow, I hate you, uh... My mom! <laughs> yeah, no, I hated, I hate him. Sorry, guys. How are you doing, Grandpa? How you doing, Grandpa Schweitzer? But, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't like him either. I don't like that he's the mage. <clears throat> God damn it, it's already three. Where's time not going? Where the fuck is this? this thing not showing me chat? Was that your ass? I, uh... Yes. <coughs> Yeah. Healing HP, elemental fire, ice. Mm How's my inventory? Twenty four. All right, you know what? I'm gonna play a save, head back to the beginning, and sell my shit. Also, it's one thing I kind of miss about the third one when I'm playing the older ones is you're able to like teleport mm. to the fast travel stations on the map. Kind of, it's kind of easy to get around. You could also teleport to your gear goal anywhere on the map. Yeah. Potency? How much more stronger can my defense be? <laughs> well, I'll take it, though. Are you working on Tifa right now? Yeah, I'm gonna try and beat hers. If hers is... Just imagine, isn't. though, like, the more you push her defense, the harder her tits get. Yes, they turn back to... fucking boxes. <laughs> they, they go back to the old box boobs. The days... Where they couldn't do s circular polygon. So they made hers and Lara Croft's boobs look like boxes. Like, that is... Just looking back at that now and seeing the line shape just going where the nipple and boob should be. It's like, that looks awful. But I get it. Then again, also, seven character models, or whatever you want to call them, look kind of dumb in the first place. I do like that they're making little collectible figurines online of the original cast. The original seven. You could buy the little the Lego looking characters with the weird Popeye arms. I love it. I want some of those. The, the worst part is, I don't know if you've seen it the way seven looks on the N64. Oh my god, it was terrible. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. I did not expect that. I knew they were going to make, I know they were planning to make the remake for PS2. There's videos of the like early beta belt for the N64 port before it went to the PS1. Oh, yes! Yes, I remember what you're talking about now. I think there was, instead of 7 though, I think it showed off Terra. I remember now seeing a polygonal bullshit of a girl with green hair. Yeah, it looked really bad. <clears throat> Uh, technical influence memory with several platforms. Most notably, the, the square moved, yeah, largely due to advantages. Oh, of course. CD ROM at the time? Fucking, mm. I mean, of course, their story is three discs long. There's no way in hell a 64 cartridge is fitting that. But damn, I completely forgot. That's right. It was meant to go on to 64. <laughs> but the, the, um, re. The remake was originally planned for PS2. Yeah, cause I remember seeing like early ass videos back in the day of Silent in the Train. Mm hmm. With improved graphics. Yeah.
Yeah, the canceled PS2. Wow, they planned on doing all? Whoa. Canceled PS2 remakes of 7, 8, and 9. Uh, I also thought they did a demo for the 64 version that showed off Terra for some reason. Maybe it was just a model they had, but... I remember seeing it now that you mention it. Because it was a girl with green hair, if I recall correctly. Uh, all I'm getting is the unreleased nonsense. I don't Word know. Of my oh, good God. Ow. It was in my eardrum. Uh, my volume is just went in my ear. <laughs> yeah. Yup, that's not even seven that they're showing for the 64 demo. I, it might have been a placeholder, but that's not even... That's lock from six. Imagine how slow this animation would have been. Oh. Just going back and watching the old tech demo of this makes me reminds me of how Evolution looks. Evolution's an RPG from the Dreamcast that looks just like the 64 tech demo, and it moves slow as ass. It was a good game, though. I enjoyed the GameCube version of Worlds. Evolution Worlds it was fun. But man, yeah, that's Locke. And then there was clips of Terra. Yeah, there's Terra right there in the background. Even though she's blonde. Which is originally her, supposed to be her original color. I love Six. So good. <laughs> uh, Blocky 64 model. <sighs> it just looks so uninspiring. I would hate to see the rest of the game. Since one was dropping something, a sign of stupidity. If that's the case, I drop shit all the time. I'm a klutz. That, and if that's the case, I'm stupid then. Same here. Yeah, I'm I'm a fucking klutz, and my mom does it. She 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 said that she drops the same thing, and I got it from her then. Because, yeah, I'll literally pick something up and it'll just slip right out of my hand. It happens a lot. That's why I drive. Yeah, if I ever randomly drop things, a lot of the times I'll just go to pick it up and it just... Boom, grab my lighter off my desk. Drops. Damn it. I want my HP up. I want to take off.
so far. When did she jump up to 500 attack power? Okay. I remember, those titties give you an extra uh, 200 attack. I don't know about that, but I know she's strong, but I had, I, uh, the highest I had was 400. When did I get to 5? When did that fucking happen? Holy crap. I mean, I could put the Genji gloves back on, but it'll drop me to 480. God damn. Imagine if it was possible to her like in combat. Power of duty, activate! Yeah, <laughs> just fucking doubles her damage and defense because anything that punches them, to, well, that sounds more painful to be honest, but it adds as her defense because it's a wall. It's all cushion. Ow. Imagine just getting punched in the boobs though. Oh. That sounds painful. Oh, painful. Just thinking about it. I don't even have boobs. Mm -hmm. I've never hit a woman in the boobs. No, I'm just saying this. I, I remember with, Ro with Rosie, so she was big for, for her size. She mentioned she hardly saw anything in them. Ah, uh, okay. Well, some are more sensitive, I would assume, than others. Yeah. And then, yeah, uh, she was somewhat sensitive. Like, I wouldn't be able to tell you if Heather or Shauna were, but feeling them normally, yes. I don't know if sensitive in other ways. Like, Hitting them by accident, for instance. But yeah, like, feeling them, yes. That's one thing. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if... How much cushion Tifa's breasts are, and I love how we just... Started talking about feeling up boobs. Sorry, sorry ladies. Your, 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 your chest butts are very nice. I'm sure you probably want to sit there and talk about how badly hurting a man's balls would be. Uh, please don't. That's one of the worst pains imaginable for a guy. I don't wish I don't wish that on anyone. Even for a person with it would would who don't have doesn't have balls or a dick. I don't wish that pain on anybody. Cuz yeah, getting cut hurts having upset stomach from food hurts or whatever but getting hit in the balls and then feeling it in your fucking bladder ugh I hate it especially when it's like a good smack to your crotch I hate it the most when you accidentally sack yourself that's the worst anyway uh, attack damage by basic attacks. Yes, martial arts decrease the duration of unbridled, unbridled strength by 50%. Yeah, attack power, weapon, ability, damage, and attack damage. Uh, increases duration. Increases attack power while unbridled strength is active. Yes, that's actually useful. Drops are considerably low.
Um. Ooh, yeah. Weapon ability and attack damage up. Oof. I'm doing more damage with basic attacks. I'm doing more damage with my weapon ability. That sounds crazy. So let's see if that'll help. I don't know. And then attack power by 40. Okay, well, uh, yes, that's not putting her at 500. Nowhere near. We also have a nice office up here in this uh, satellite station or space station. Yeah. It's also weird seeing uh, Roland a little here helping out Jack. Hmm. Yeah. But I hope we can still meet from time to time. The intel you have... I've begun to see that the more I learn about our world, the more rewarding it is to explore it. He killed his own scientist team.
<laughs> Did you hear what she said? No. She was she was saying the well, the way Jack killed the scientist was a sexy thing she ever seen. Uh. No, I'm trying.
stupid robots. Of course, now you're killing me. Maybe not. Make them all do the same shit. Come on! How the hell, guys? Fuck! How did I win? I hate enemies that could just track, just follow you like that. I like, seriously, it's annoying when enemies have attacks like this. Same thing on that fucking stupid kid G punch there. Like, I don't like that shit. I don't like shit that I have to stagger someone out of too. Can we stop with the what the hell? Hey, don't be throwing in shit. Don't be throwing in other shit that you don't do. Okay, dude, come on! Dark, thank you, dude, jeez!
Hey, come on! I love that you canceled that early. Game? I'm tired of that. Come on. Would you come on, Dark Claw? Come on, thank you. Come on. Come on! Come on, dude! What the hell? I don't know what procs any of it. Can you stop? You're faster than I am. Stop! Okay, he does it multiple times. I get it. Gather that. <clears throat> Dude, you're faster than me. No! Oh, come on. I, tr I accidentally hit by accident because I thought he was going to stop because I was uh, healing. Dude! 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 Bastard than me! It's not there sometimes. Ran right into me. <clears throat> what bullshit awaits me? Elder Golem, Wind. He's great. He's immune, greaterly immune to fire.
Hey. That was BS. I don't like your attacks. I don't. You're all over the place. Now you're throwing fucking bomb rocks. What the heck? I didn't even know. When did that bomb get behind you? Ah, great. Now I need something for Petrify. Like, I go through so much of my MP also. Come on. Endless replayability is the city if there's...
Thank you, Genocidal, for the loot.
Hello. Hello. I am back. Welcome back. And also I got some of this thing. Nothing else? Then I wish you good luck in your travels. Cloud, how go your travels? Well, I hope. Breathing heavy. Oof, right into the mic. Hold on, sometimes both of the dance can go that fast. Oh no, it's all good. Booty sniffs. I'm hearing a lot of your game, yes. It's clear as day. Yes, proficiency.
Jesus. 9,000 damage. <laughs> well, I am doing 9,000 damage. When my eight damn attack is at 500. And it's my fucking power hit. Okay, so she can hit potentially multiple times with that. Oh. Oh. Please, Tifa. Please, Elder Golem. Wow, my face. That was my other face. That's a grab. That's I'm being punched in the head. Ow. 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 That really hurt like hell. Thanks. Oh, blot. Better safe than sorry. Your grab. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's adorable. How some people look up. Whether they find murder or adorable.
me, you stupid Dargan. I hate that. I hate you. Damn it, I was doing so bad. I was doing so bad. But I, I could have thrown. Ah, I missed all the ones that I wanted to hit. Ow! Shut up, yeah.
Boah. Missing obvious things. Yeah, trust me, some items that you miss and you find them, it's just like, jeez, was I even looking? Why did I hit him? Oh my god. Tifa, I'm an idiot. Ah, I hate your stupid barrier, bastard. Like, what the hell? I can't gain enough ATD in time because of that barrier. It makes me horny for it. No. Ah, I could have dodged that, but I fucking ran into it instead. Yeah, my parents think I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> Looks like everyone gets to hear two games at once. No, I'm okay. It's funny, I like hearing it. Ah, I just wish I didn't have to get off of game in probably about a half hour or so.
What? No, I don't think I've beaten any of the DLCs for Desert Borderlands 2. Except for, well, okay, except for the first one. The pirate DLC. I don't know, I just didn't care for any... I didn't care for Hammerlock's DLC, I didn't play it enough. But, uh, yeah, I played Torx, I played... I beat the first one. I beat, I've played a bit of Torx. And the only one I haven't touched is Tiny Toons. But yeah, no. Hammerlocks, I played a bit of it, and I'm like, I don't want to just hunt monsters. Like, I don't know. Some of the... Cr I just don't like some of those quests that he was given, yeah. It's the same thing with, like, some of the DLC... Uh, some of the DLC from the first one with um, un Undead Nightmare. Hated that DLC. <laughs> the braids was easy. <laughs> you got a shotgun. But yeah, no, the rest... Like... <laughs> I just didn't like a lot of that uh, stuff. The, I don't know. That... Yeah. Who? Oh, his death fall? Yeah. I mean, you can... crazy.
I don't know. They probably like his, his ways, his evilness, or his rule. I don't know. Maybe they didn't like some of the people he took down. Especially when his bird guide. Oh, wow. Okay. Antipas is done. At least I got two done. All right. I gather from your expression that you're either How much you might struggle doing the uh, these fights for like Aerith or maybe a uh, Cat Sith? Cat Sith maybe it shouldn't be too hard. Aerith probably will be unless I can get her ATB up quicker. I just be probably. I want to say she probably has like what the worst defense of all the characters. Uh, one of them. Yes, she, I mean yes, I know she does because she's a mage. Yeah, she's at ninety three. I mean, I don't know. It, it'd be fine if I can get her ATB up and Arcane Ward active and whatnot. With ATB materia, I should be able to somewhat give me some bars. I think she's going to be the hardest, but we'll see. Barrett shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully, Yuffie shouldn't be too bad. I think the hardest for me is definitely going to be Aerith and probably Red. Kate Sith is actually good. Red is okay. My only problem with Kate Sith is that he's slow, but he is very powerful. Especially with his Ella luck. Luck and his abilities are very Give me some Kate Sith's fun. I love 
I don't like his character. But... Well, actually, I'm starting to like his character. Minus the whole betray you thing. But I'm liking everything else so far. Kits is actually very funny. But yeah, no. He's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna tell you, though, he is fun. I think I can make him... I think I can make Kate Sith... I don't know about me specifically, but I could probably make Kate Sith stronger than Tifa. In terms of the fact that he has higher luck and can output on top of that. Yuffie, however, <clears throat> is probably the most highest DPS. So I gotta sit there and try to work on her. She's gonna easily be one of the most overpowered characters. But Red is strong. Red also is strong. Not good at him, and I don't like his attacks. Nice skin. Oh, thank you. I like being white. It's a nice color. Oh, you mean... See, I... I don't consider these skins. Skins is something you download. These are outfits. Skins are just re-changing a thing without actually wearing... She does. But, like, skins, outfits... To me, a, this is not a skin. It's, a, it's an actual outfit. Well, here's the thing. A skin is just something that goes over your outfit. It's either a download or someone mods it in. I I, I consider that different because I ch you can choose it in-game versus like a menu thing or like, oh, here's a menu. Do you want this skin or whatever? Like, Or some sort of modding. Like, I consider all of RE stuff, those are outfits to me, not skins. Because they add effects, too. I don't know, I'm weird like that. When it comes to a skin to me for a game, it's usually something kind of like Monster Hunter's Laird armor. It gives you the look of it, but not the effect. That, to me, is a skin. Because they're wearing that on top of your other armor just to get the look of the armor you want with the benefits of the other armor. What if, what if I sawed my skin? Sawed? Like, with a saw. I ask because you put a U. I have cosmetics? Excuse me? I don't take care of my skin at all. <laughs> Bury my skin. Oh. I don't know about... Yeah, I'm shiny because I'm white. But I don't have good complexion. My skin... I can't tan either. Uh, I don't have complexion. My skin... My skin is actually okay, but it, luckily for me, I don't break or anything. I just don't take care of my skin. I don't put anything on to make my skin nice, feel nice, look nice, or anything like that. I just shower every now, every other day or so. I'm sun magnetic. I burn six. I both. I both. I burn or I freeze. I can't win. I don't know about burning seconds, but I will turn into a tomato if I'm outside long enough in a pool or something with my skin directly involved, exposed. Even with sunscreen, I can't tan. You probably can't see it because <laughs> of how white I am, but this is tan. Ish. It's like, I'm like a freaking uncooked pizza. <clears throat> Go in white, come out in golden brown. That's me. That's my tan. I have the, I have the farmer tan. I turn red and then it peels off. And underneath is tan, like light golden skin. Because I literally... Yeah, like I said, I'm white as fuck because I can't really tan. And then I have whatever is tan, like my neck, face, and arms. They are 
Like 10. Slight 10. I don't even get sunburnt that badly, but I have. Your magnesium white. I don't know what color that is. I also hate that there's multiple names for the same fucking color. I, I hate shades, man. And I don't even know how white has a shade when it's technically not a color. I work at Mercer's, man. I freaking have like 50,000 million paint colors. Oh, this blue. Oh, this is a slightly light blue. Oh, that's even slightly lighter blue. Oh, that blue is even slightly lighter than that one. Oh, and that blue is slightly dark. That one's slightly darker. That one's slightly darker. Oh, there's red. There's pink. Oh, there's a slighter pink. There's a darker pink. There's a dark red. There's a light red. There's a green red, a blue red, a black red, red red. I mean, seriously, I have like 50 million whites. They all look close to the damn same. Some are shiny, some are smooth, some have texture, some don't. It's, it's, uh, it's cold white. Cold is not a color. Or descriptor. For color. Huh. I don't really know what that means. I've never heard someone reference white color cold using the word cold. Oh, whatever. I don't know anything about paint colors. They all are the same color. White is white. But yeah. Maybe no more intel. Warm white is how? If it's white, then it's not yellow. Also, warm yellow? Is there a cold yellow? What? Piano white? Okay, that's fine. Ivory white. I wouldn't say piano white. Unless your piano is white. Ivory. That That's one of the colors I have at work. Ivory white. Warm, have some... Uh, yeah, pee can be cold and water and warm. Yes, and pee can also be multiple colors. But we're not talking about pee. We're talking about colors. 
You said cold white. I don't. I don't. I, I'm trying to understand what, how a temperature is used to describe a color palette. I know I'm annoying. I'm sorry. But I hope we can still meet from time to time. It's so good to. I've been traveling from town, but I'm having some difficulty narrowing it down. One metallic or something. When your order, uh, we drop and color. What? When you're ordering a guard, they use warm or cold metallic. Uh, yeah, but that's still an item, not a color. Warm. I prefer bio, bi color black and white. So we back to white, I, I guess. I'm very confused. Are we talking about colors? I don't know what bi color black and white. You're using words that I don't understand and saying them in sentences with sentence stuff that I don't get what you mean. Huh? So I know bicolor is two. Well, bi means two, but I. What? what does that even mean? Then you prefer warmer or colder, but you have a count. Room colors are very aggressive. Uh, uh, what are you even saying? How can a color be aggressive? I think too much, but that's literally me.
Okay. That thing is so hot. My alarm is hot, and I want to make love to it. Make love to me, baby. Incendiary rain. Make a rain. Okay, we have an adamant toys, the one that I got fucking murdered by, at least it's by itself. You're weak to ass. Yeah, no, he did an attack where he just kept shooting shit at me. Fucker. Um. Got to put heal on me of all things. That Adam on Toys is thank you. Okay, I gotta like debuff that fucker. But I gotta get off. It's five. I encourage you to try again sometime. I'm gonna go. Good night and morning. Good morning. Good night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and at this point, like, I don't think anyone's even really on. Well, we got a guy that I met from uh, one of my other followers, so we're gonna go raid out to this guy. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, Ik 
Ichthum? Ichums? Sorry, it's I H C C T U M Z. I don't know how to put it. Are you going to be all Lear on today? We'll see. Most likely. Uh. All right, and I will see Lear on today, though. <laughs> yep. Let's go raid this guy. What? Slash raid. Why is my shit enlarging? Whoa. Not my dick. Come on. Is it an L or an I? Well, that's why I hate L's and I's. Apparently it's an L. Looks like I gotta reopen Discord. It's in... I, hold on. Yeah, it's an L. That's dumb. I don't like uppercase I's because it looked like... It... It's, a, it's a lowercase L. I hate that. I hate I and L. Let's go and Ray. He's playing Fortnite, guys. And sadly, he's one of the only few that I see on. Uh, have a good night. Kick some ass.